up. Today, what I'm going to be giving my two cents on is Pusha T Annihilating Drake. Now, it's funny because the Pusha T song, I, I saw a lot of people, well, a lot of males' reactions, and they was like, what? Drake a deadbeat father? Drake got a baby? What? 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 And I feel like Drake put his own foot in his mouth. I mean, I, I kind of like Drake. Well, I like both of them. I don't have anything against either one of them. And, yeah. But when you come for a man's wife, or kids, or whatever, first, nothing is off limits. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. Sometimes shit just ain't off limits. And I feel like Drake put his foot in his mouth. You know you have something as serious as you being a deadbeat father. And it was, a, it was funny watching um, a lot of men's reaction because my husband was like, what you think about this? And when I heard, first he let me hear Drake's. And I was like, oh. But when I heard Pusha T, I wanted to fall out on the floor with so much laughter because I pictured Drake sitting in the corner somewhere crying. Trying to get his shit, shit together. And a lot of males were like, what? What? Drake got a baby? Drake got a baby? But to a lot of females, it's no surprise because I remember when Layla Lace was saying she was pregnant by him. And so when I see Sophie, and I'm like, hold up. You were saying you didn't fuck none of these bitches and all this other stuff. At least you said you didn't fuck Layla Lace. And now your credibility is all shot. You are a fucking liar. Drake is a fucking deadbeat. And a lot of people look up to this. And they're going to continue to look up to this because certain people get passes or whatever. But this is not passable to me. How did you... How, how is all these other females getting to say that you got them pregnant or whatever. And then you actually have a baby by... As Pusha C say, let's, let's tell everybody who your Beyonce is. Yeah. And when he says that, that makes me laugh because... I immediately, I was like, no, I remember the other female, but this one, how does this happen when, how do you still not wrap your shit up? Then, then she putting receipts out there talking about, are you saying have an abortion, you just want money? Yeah. What do you think some of these females want? And they letting you bust in them? <laughs> these females better be careful. Y'all not going to learn until y'all end up ushered. Mm-hmm, yeah, I said it. Go have all types of STDs. And so I think, like I said, Drake put his foot in his mouth. You asked for it by talking about that man's wife, fiance, whatever the case. You shouldn't have brought her up. That had nothing to do with you at all. That, nothing, that had nothing to do with y'all situation, period. She didn't have anything to do with y'all situation. That just happened to be her man. And so now your business is put all out there, which is no surprise or whatever. But to actually have had that baby when you said you didn't know these females, you didn't fuck these females, it's like... What? And then you don't take care of your child? That's not the child's fault. That's you and that, 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 that whore is... I ain't gonna call her a whore. Just because she's a porn star. I don't know what type of porn star she is, whatever. But I was like, mm -hmm. Okay. But that's the type of, that's the type of females you like. Um, so, how do y'all feel? I feel like, <laughs> I feel like Pusha T annihilated Drake. I feel like Drake, the only thing Drake can come back and say is, I got to take the L. Man, you won. You won. It's no way. To me, you, when you're a deadbeat father, you don't, you don't acknowledge your child. You deny your child. It's no way you can come back from that. How do you come back from that? How? And another thing is Brandy Boyd, Max Lux's wife, she announced that she had um, a miscarriage yesterday and a lot of people was going in because she recorded a video and she was crying and they was like, well, if you kept your pregnancy a, um, a private matter, why do we need to know about your miscarriage? And when I saw it, when I first saw it, I was like, because, yeah, you, that, that's a situation where you wouldn't be recording yourself during that time. I, I know I wouldn't. And a lot of people say, I wouldn't be recording myself crying and this, that, and the other, whatever. And I feel like maybe she put it out there because she needed to be lifted up. A, a lot of females go through that. And maybe she, you know, and it was okay when Remy Ma announced hers. And it was okay when Lil Mo announced hers, but now that she's announcing hers or whatever. And I guess maybe because they went public with their pregnancies, that's why they got more sympathy. 
I just think maybe she should have did it a different way. But no one knows. They, they're like, dang, well, she's not hurting. That doesn't mean that she's not hurting. It just maybe means that her hurt is a little bit different. And maybe she needed people to lift her up or tell their stories. Or, you know, maybe she felt, I don't know. But, yeah. That was just my two cents. I'm about to wrap this on up because I don't want this to be long. Y'all always, always stay unapologetic to you because I'm going to always, always stay unapologetic to me. Y'all hit that notification bell. Give this a thumbs up, comment, do whatever you like. But um, 